Hello everyone, in today's recipe, chicken pasta recipe, I'm going to show you how to make pasta with chicken. Easy pasta recipe. If you're interested in this simple pasta recipe, welcome to Olayemi Cooking China. For returning and new subscribers, thanks so much for your support. I'm going to be using rotina pasta. So, onions, red bell pepper, fresh red bell pepper. Then, also be using green beans and homemade tomatoes puree, chicken breast cut into a cube, then carrot as well clean and cut i'm going to cut my carrot into smaller pieces it's a sweet and delicious easy vegetable pasta recipe and this is an easy and quick pasta with chicken so i'll also be showing you how to make chicken how to cook chicken with pasta so i'm going to cut my green peas as well into smaller size already there's my my onions then I'm going to cut my red bell pepper into smaller size this pasta recipe is a very delicious and easy and quick pasta recipe using chicken you can as well try this method with beef is an easy pasta recipe you should try this recipe please try it so uh, this are all my vegetables I will be using then let's just start making our chicken so i'm going to prepare my chicken i'm using quarter spoon of sugar salt i mean quarter spoon of black pepper and quarter teaspoon of seasoning like it i'm using quarter spoon of chili pepper quarter teaspoon of chili pepper everything out quarter teaspoon so i'm going to combine my ingredients with my chicken please like this video and remember to share this video with your friends so i already mixed it and uh, combine my chicken with my seasoning i'm going to put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes so in a pot i have water i'm going to add one teaspoon of salt to give it its taste then as well i'm going to add two teaspoon of oil any cooking oil you have available i'm using two teaspoon of cooking oil so i'm going to allow this to boil then i'm going to go ahead and add my rotina pasta so i'm going to add my pasta into my water they allow this to cook as well before going to other steps so i'm going to stay and allow my pasta to mix with my seasoning with my salt and i'll allow this to cook then we'll come back and save our pasta so please remember to like this video and remember to share this video with your friend so, so to get that perfect soft pasta just get for eight to ten minutes so this is cooked and it's soft we are going to save and proceed to the other step of our pasta recipe so i'm going to add some cooking oil in the pot i'm using quarter cup of oil then i'm going to add my diced onions i'm just adding a little amount of diced onions then i'm going to go ahead and add my chicken i put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes so everything is out please remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updated of my next recipe so we are going to cook our chicken this is how to cook your chicken for pasta so i'm going to cook this for 10 minutes i like my chicken well cooked so i'm going to cook this for 10 minutes then i'll just keep on staying and allow it smells nice and it smells good so i'll just allow it to cook and to allow every part of it to cook i had one quarter spoon of dry thyme leaf then just to give it that nice and fine aroma you can as well add more spice or more seasoning to it so i just allow this to cook then i'm going to remove my chicken from the pot from the pan this is one pan pasta dish and it's very delicious and it's very easy to prepare it's a quick and simple pasta recipe so we are going to allow this to cook already removed from the pan so we still have the oil and the sauce of that chicken i just add my diced onions my green beans 
then I'm going to add my chopped onions. I want to stir and stir fry my vegetables before proceeding to making our pasta sauce. So enjoy our pasta recipe. It's a perfect and easy pasta recipe. This is how to make pasta that you enjoy. You should try this recipe. It's very delicious and it's very easy to prepare. It's a, it's a quick and simple lunch recipe or dinner recipe it's so perfect i'm going to remove my vegetables and just leave some to allow that taste of vegetables to remain in my sauce pasta so i'm going to go ahead and add my homemade tomatoes puree you can watch my jello fresh recipe when i make my tomatoes puree so i'm going to add my tomatoes puree into my so my uh, vegetables and allow this to cook for some minutes so i'm going to cover it allow this to cook until it's well dry without water in my sauce so this is the other thing you can just see there's a little oil coming out from the surface i don't want it to be too much i just want simple oil in my sauce so you can see this is how it looks it looks i'm going to add what a, a one teaspoon of tomato paste why is this not coming out from the spoon so let me just use my upward spoon and i'm going to stir this and allow this to mix with my sauce yes just to give it that nice and red color of it yes i can see my tomato puree is not that red and it's not that too red the way i want my tomato sauce to look like so that's why i'm adding extra tomatoes paste to it one teaspoon is okay or you can use half a spoon of it so one tablespoon or half tablespoon whichever one you feel like it's perfect just to give it that red color and to make your sauce to be more red so i'm going to add my seasoning i'm using cutter spoon as well to to my seasoning you know my chicken has already been seasoning and all the seasoning is going to go back to my pasta so i'm going to add my cooked pasta into my sauce then i'll give it a quick mix to allow my pasta to be combined with my sauce actually you can taste this if the sauce is okay and I already tasted the sauce is perfectly okay there's no need for me to add extra salt so I'm going to add my vegetable my already stirred vegetables to give my pasta a nice and well tasty make it tasty it smells really good this smells good I'm going to add my chicken as well all this as well but seasoning is just left for me to combine my pasta with my chicken then i'm going to add my chopped red bell pepper and my fresh red bell pepper then i'm going to give it a quick mix to combine my pasta this is how i normally cook my chicken pasta or this i cook my pasta with chicken so it really comes out t- delicious and it comes out really easy and is a easy and quick lunch if you want to eat it for lunch and it's a quick and easy day is recipe for dinner this is a, the best pasta dish you ever try please feel free to try it so i'm going to allow this to cook for two minutes i just want my red bell pepper to be steamed not to cook i just want to feed that freshness of red bell pepper so i already serve it in, in a plate and i'm about to eat my pasta chicken it's an easy homemade pasta recipe and it's very simple to make thanks so much for watching this my pasta recipe please remember to subscribe hope to see you all in my next recipe please be safe out there bye bye